What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Quick video here, hopefully quick, man. You know me, I be going on rants sometimes. Um, but shout out to Sandra, man. Shout out to Sandra. I wanted to address this really quick because she brings up some some good points and and some good concerns. And I'm sure you know, freaking ton of people, you know, think the same thing. But I, I really make it clear, man. I make it clear in these videos that I'm cutting um, on how I built my social media agency from just bootstrap, freaking grind, just hustle, no budget, no freaking Facebook advertising, no social media marketing, um, other than one specific strategy. And it's been the DM. And, and this is for, you know, those that are just starting out. And this is how I started out. Now I'm in a completely different position. I'm still direct messaging. I'm still crushing it that way. I still get multiple clients a week that way, but now I'm leveraging other things, my book, my digital course, my YouTube channel, my, my Kartra and really, really helping people with landing pages and sales funnels and, 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 and structuring the whole, the whole thing. That's, that's profit with profit with Kartra dot online. That's that software where I just create all my landing pages, my email automation, everything runs through that software. Um, but that is where I'm just helping a lot of people. Right? So, now I'm in a completely different position, but I still direct message every day, man. I still, it's still part of my game plan. Um, I'm just now able to really leverage other parts of my business now as well. I'm, I'm fired up about digital courses. I'm fired up about YouTube and freaking and, and building a YouTube channel and just, and just starting to get that residual income going from ad money, little money, but it starts to compound it starts to add up. And especially when it's residual, it, it, it could be exciting, man. So I'm fired up about other things as well, but I'm still building my agency every single day. It's what I've been doing since 2016. And, and, and I've, I've literally have relied on this one specific direct message strategy since 2016. And, and now at the making of this video, it's 2019 October or November, 2019. So depending on when you're watching this, November 2019 is when I'm dropping the video. And I've literally been doing this strategy, have brought in a little, to tell you the truth, to very, very be super, super honest with you, I'm at a little over 300 clients. I think I'm like at 340. Um, and, and I could pull that up just in my one Stripe account alone, but then I also had a handful of clients that paid me through PayPal, um, but just a handful. But, but even just on Stripe alone, it's 300 plus, 300 plus, um, clients that I literally brought aboard. And what does that mean? Grabbing a credit card from grabbing a credit card from processing their payment and bringing them aboard. I'm at 300 plus just in my Stripe account. And this is since, this is since, since, since September of 2017. So although I talk about, I did start it in 2016, which I did December of 2016 is when I got my first client, but it wasn't for my it's it wasn't for what i service them with now like social media facebook ads it wasn't that in 2016 i tried launching a website service where i was selling website services and website design that started in 2016 that started in december of 2016 and then in september of 2017 i closed my first client under my business name um offering them now social media services and Facebook advertising. That was September of 2017. So since then, man, since December of 2016, when I was offering website design, going after one niche, 100% was from a direct message on Facebook. Okay. Now here's what I'm going to show you. This exact strategy applies for Facebook your personal page. Okay. Not the business page. It applies to your Facebook personal page. That's where I crushed it. Okay. But the same exact strategy can apply on Instagram. Okay. Same exact strategy that I'm going to show you that I crushed it with, that I continue to crush it with 300 plus clients just on Stripe alone, 300 plus clients. Okay. Um, this strategy would work with Instagram. This strategy would work with Twitter. Okay. And this strategy would work with LinkedIn, okay? Over here on LinkedIn, this exact strategy would work on LinkedIn. Here's what I did, man. And shout out to Sandra. Let's go back to her comment. She said, great idea in theory. First of all, Sandra, it's not a theory. This is fact. This is how I brought in 300 plus clients 
since since September of 2017. So in September of 2017 is when I processed my first credit card. When I was offering website services to the same niche, started in December of 2016, pitching them website design, pitching them website service, and finding them all through the DM, all through Facebook alone. The same strategy, man. Started in December of 2016, offering website services, getting them on, the, on Zoom, doing a visual, doing a screen share, and closing them, taking their credit card, and literally closing them on website design. From 2016, December 2016 to, to September of 2017, I was offering that. And then, and then in September, I started offering social media because I'm like, dang, these, these clients need social media services and they need basic marketing, social media marketing services. And that's when the light bulb went off for me. And I'm like, yeah, man, I can start doing this. I can do this on my own. I can start my own you know, agency. I can freaking process my own credit cards. I don't have to take that credit card and run it through my boss's freaking platform or my business partner's platform. In this case, I was partnered with them and the money was good. The money was super, super good, but I wasn't processing the, processing the credit card. They, they had a whole operations for that. Um, it was kind of like, like all I was doing was arbitrage, arbitrage, what's it called? Arbit arbitrage. It was straight website design arbitrage. Um, I'd find the client. I already had the company that can do it all for them. And then I, I made the split and my split, my margin was huge. I had a good margin. Um, but I wanted my own thing. I wanted my own thing. And that was September of 2017 when I'm like, dude, I can freaking hit this niche. I was going after one niche. I started with one niche again. When it comes down to picking a niche, let me talk about that real quick. When it comes down to picking a niche, you want to pick something that you're passionate about or that you're skilled in or that you have a background or some type of experience in. I happen to have experience in mortgages and real estate. I worked with, with mortgages and real estate agents for almost 10 years. Um, from And that, was, that, that, that all started in, in, in 2010. 2010 to 2016, I was a banker. 2010 to 2016, I was a loan originator, closing mortgages, getting people qualified to purchase a home. That's what I did prior to building my own agency in 2016, 2017. Okay. I was doing mortgages. So I come from that industry. That's what really kind of allows me to, to, to speak the jargon, to know the terminology, to know the verbiage, to know the slang, to know what they're all about. Like I know a ton of, a ton, I know a ton about my niche because I came from it. So you want to kind of pick something that, that, and even if you come from something, but you're not fired up about it, then maybe not, not don't go after that. Like if you, if you have a background in freaking, um, baking, if you just, or, or let's just say you just love to bake and you start creating content and creating, creating, creating an audience around, around, around that. But then all of a sudden you start going after restaurants because you have a passion in cooking and baking. So you go after restaurants and now you want to offer restaurant social media marketing services, right? So it, I, I truly believe pick something that you're going to be fired up about or that you have a passion about because uh, it, it'll just be easier. It'll be easier for you and easier for you to, for you to find clients. But this is what you can do, man. Here's, here's what I'm going to, I'm going to share with you. She put great idea um, in theory. It's not a theory. I've, I've, I, it's not a theory. Okay. The huge problem I see with this, and it may be, it may vary in different countries, but if a stranger randomly friend requested me on Facebook, I would decline. Okay. Let's start there. Let's start there. That automatically Sandra and shout out to Sandra, man. Thank you for commenting. And you guys, I want you to comment, comment. What kind of stuff are you guys looking to learn, man? What kind of questions and concerns do you have regarding social media marketing or building an agency or running Facebook ads or landing pages or email automation or freaking sales funnels? If you're building anything online, that's why I'm talking to a lot of you guys, because if you're, if you're an entrepreneur, you have to be building something online and it's going to come down to your social media brand. It's going to come down to your social media marketing. And, and on the back end of all that is landing pages, email automation, sales funnels, webinars, presentation pages, downloads. Like, you're, you're, you know, shout out to my boy, Robert. Just brought Robert aboard as a new client. Shout out to Robert, man. Going to crush it in his industry out there in, in Norman, Oklahoma. But um, I was telling him about a free download. You got you to gotta offer your clients. You got to offer your prospects something for free. And, and, and you don't want to give them the same random free that is common in the industry, like a free quote or a free, you know, valuation 
or a free, you know, something that is common amongst that industry. Like you can, it's a dime a dozen. I can go on it onto any website or I can walk down any street and find a barbershop or I can go to any website and get a free quote. It's common. And I said, man, you, you want to do something different. You want to have like some type of free download, some type of free top 10 tips or, 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 or the top five ways to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell it. You want to give something, something of value um, that's very different than your competition, right? And, and in this case, let's just say a, a free download of the top five ways to increase your muscle by 2019 or the top five ways to drop, to, to lose weight before 2020 or, or how to, how to bake how to bake the most amazing cookies for Christmas, like little random things like that, giving that a tip sheet away for free. That's a free download. All that man is the back end. Like that's all the back end. So, so right when I hear that, man, if a stranger randomly friend requested me on Facebook, I would decline. That tells me automatically that you're not an entrepreneur or that you don't have any type of business because if you have a business, you have something for sale. That's why when it comes to social media, if you're in business, you have to be accepting everyone. You have to be requesting everybody. You got to be accepting everybody. It blows my mind when someone says like this, I would decline them. That automatically, there's nothing wrong with that, but that automatically tells me that you have nothing for sale. Because if you were selling something, if you were an entrepreneur, if you were a business owner, even if you just had a side hustle, let's say you have a full-time job, Sandra, and you just have a side hustle you you sell something on Amazon or you sell something on Shopify or you have your own website where you you know teach people how to cook you know and and you have this free download that gives them the top 5 ingredients on how to make the best enchiladas whatever the hell it is man if you had something for sale you would be requesting and accepting everyone you wouldn't decline that's why when it comes to entrepreneurs on social media we're friends with everybody we want to be friends with everybody because shit i got something to sell Right? It's like, dude, I want the biggest following. You want the biggest following. You have something for sale. But if you don't have anything for sale, you're not fired up about selling anything to anyone. Of course, man, decline them all. But again, a business owner, they're not declining. So when you start requesting plumbers or chiropractors or dentists, you start requesting freaking any type of business owner, I don't care what the hell they are. They could be a small guy, a, a, a medium sized business, a mom and pop shop. It does not matter. You own a restaurant. It does not matter, man. On social media, you have something to sell. And that's why subconsciously and it's, it's damn near human nature. You're, you're wide open and, and your, 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 your arms are open, accepting everyone. Be my friend, be my friend, be my friend. And by the way, let me tell you about my restaurant. Be my friend, be my friend, be my friend. By the way, let me tell you about this amazing life insurance that I've been providing for the past seven years. Be my friend, be my friend, be, be my friend. And hey, and by the way, if you're ever interested in selling your property, let me know because I happen to be a real estate broker and I've been in, in the, you know what I mean? You're hitting them on the back end. That's an entrepreneur, man. So, if you, so, so automatically, Sandra, I'm just assuming, I'm just assuming, I don't know you, I'm just assuming that you just have nothing to sell. That's why you're declining people, okay? Um, when you go after business owners, trust me, they're not declining you. Okay, they're not declining you. Um, and, 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 and I'm going to show you exactly what I did, man. So this is not theory. This, I'm going to show you exactly what I do and what I did and what I've been doing since 2016 to grab 300 plus clients to offer them social media marketing services and Facebook advertising and to get a ton of them on retainer and just provide a, a, an enorm, enormous amount of value to all of them, man. And this is basic stuff. This is simple stuff. This is what small business owners need in 2020 and beyond and and they they all know that they all know they need some type of social media marketing services or some type of, of online advertising which would be facebook or instagram or youtube they know that um they just don't know how to do it and they're willing to pay you that's the beauty man so that's where the the, the match made in heaven is, is 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 created because there's a match I can do this part for you. You shine at what you do. You shine at insurance, Robert. You shine at real estate, Stacy. You shine at freaking baking. You shine at freaking, you know, selling cars. Whatever it is, man, you shine at that. And then boom, you, 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 you have, you know, someone else that can probably, you know, do the other part. But here's what I did, man. Here's what I did. Okay, the other problem I see, let, let, let's read this. If a stranger ran, okay, so the other, the other problem I see with this is if you're adding these business owners to your personal profile you're also friends with your family and close friends okay perfect so again she may not have caught in all my other 
freaking 900 videos. But um, I talk about this all the time. I talk about this all the time. So again, it can happen on any of these platforms, right? I happen to do mine on my personal Facebook page where in 20, in 2017, when I left, in 2016, when I left mortgages, I started my own thing, right? 2016, 2017, I started my own agency. And I started going after one niche because I knew that niche, right? And I started requesting a ton of them on Facebook. I started requesting them as friends, as personal friends on Facebook. When it comes to small businesses, we're all normal people, man. So Sandra, shout out to Sandra, but you're just a normal person. I'm just a normal person. We're normal people, especially if we're on that small business level. You know, we're not that high business. We're not a Jeff Bezos or a Bill Gates or a freaking Donald Trump or a freaking shit, even a 50 cent. We're not even any a Drake. We're not any in any of those types of caliber people, right? So we're normal people. We're normal people. We're average Joes. We're small business owners. We're medium-sized business owners. We're just starting out business owners. We're wannabe business owners. We're just getting started type of business owners. Where, wherever you freaking fall, man, wherever you fall, we're all normal people. So, so, so here's what I started doing. I started requesting normal people in my niche. Again, it could have been a plumber. It could have been a freaking dentist. I would come over here and I still do. I come over here and I'll type in insurance, insurance agents. Okay. Let's say I'm going after insurance agents. And then I would come over here and I would click on people and I would straight go down the list. Licensed health insurance agent, ad, owner, ad, realtor, wouldn't ad, insurance, ad, Henson agents, ad, but I'm looking for a human. I'm not looking for the business. I'm not looking for the business page. I'm looking to connect with the individual, the normal person, which happens to also be the owner of the agency, right? That's where I'm connecting is on that personal level. So as I started doing this, man, in 2016, as I started doing this in 2016 on one platform alone, before you knew it, I had a thousand friends. I had 2000 friends. I had 3000 friends. I had 4000 friends. I had 4,500 friends. And, and then also still hundreds of them, not hundreds, but may, let's just say a couple hundred for sure. A couple hundred were friends. So back to what she's saying. The other problem I see with this, you are adding these business owners to your personal profile. You're also friends with your family and close friends. Okay, so here's what I did. Great point, great concern. Shout out to Sandra. Here's what I started doing and started realizing more towards 20, more towards 2019 for sure, more towards 2019. So again, this is the strategy that I did. You can do this strategy on anything, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram. You can do the same exact strategy on all of them. I did it on Facebook, on the personal page. I searched that industry. I came and added every real person. I want a real profile picture, okay? That has to be a real person, ad friend, ad friend, um, life agent, ad friend. This is what I did, man. And in 2019 is when I had when I had over 4,000. In 2019 is when I had over 4,500, all that same exact niche, okay? And it was in 2019 when I realized, I'm like, wait a minute, I can only have 5,000, which is the goal. I'm gonna max this thing out at 5,000. This is my new Rolodex. This is how I'm thinking, man. I come from telemarketing. I come from sales. I've been in sales and marketing for 20 plus years, which is, which is longer than some of you guys are even, you know, freaking your age. It's like, shit. I, I, like there's only so many ways you can reach out. What 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 are the what are the other options? Let's think let's think of the other options. I can run a Facebook ad. This is in the beginning, man. I'm giving you a boot bootleg freaking on a on a shoestring budget type of approach. This is your freaking gun ho hustler grind, ball is in your court, go get them type of deal, right? This is how I started. This is for those of you that don't have an advertising budget. Because yes, I can easily run a Facebook ad. I can have case study. I can do testimonials. I can get all my freaking reviews. I can run a Facebook ad to attract that client, which is what Billy Jean teaches, which is amazing. That's the actual best. That's the best approach. But I'm talking about what I did in the beginning and what I happen to get freaking damn good at where I still do to this day. And we're talking almost three years later, been about two and a half years, two, yeah, about two and a half years. 
So it's like once I once I would do this, I would I would I would I got up to like forty seven, forty eight hundred, and I'm like, wait a minute, I max out at five thousand, five thousand, which is the goal, right? It is the goal. So these friends that I have, these friends that I have, which are my family and close friends because again i've been on facebook since 2007 so yes for sure sandra i have i had not have i had all my close friends and all my family my cousins my friends that i went to elementary with real friends people that i grew up in my neighborhood with i've been in san diego my whole life i've been here forever i was born and raised here i'm still here I know so many people, but I'm talking about like real close friends, people that I grew up with, people that I used to play football with, right? People that I used to build businesses with 10 years ago, 15 years ago, right? Of course, that's who made up my, my Facebook page because to tell you the truth, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and even YouTube, I've been building my YouTube channel since 2017 and, and, and that's, not a, that's not an overnight thing. But mainly since 2017, I've been building a YouTube channel, I've been building my social media agency, and I've been building my Facebook pages, right? And I happen to be more comfortable on Facebook. That's why I requested everyone over here. I could have easily did everything on LinkedIn, um, but I did it over here. I did it over here. And, 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 and at the point when I, when I was at like 4,800, 4,700, 4,800 friends, I'm like, wait a minute. The other 200 people that are, that are taking room, they're taking up space. That's what they were doing. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my freaking wife. Shout out to my cousins and best friends from 10th grade. Shout out to every single one of you, but I'm sorry. You were taking up space. You were taking up space. So what I did, Sandra, is I, I, I literally sent them all a message. I sent them all a message in 2019. I sent them all a message and I said, what up, Jack? Great to see you. Haven't, and I'm telling you, man, you guys have friends on this personal page and that's all it is, is a handful of friends. That's all it was. It was a handful. You don't know thousands of people. Like you ain't that popular. You ain't the president. Like you ain't freaking the owner of freaking Gucci. Like you don't, you don't have, and that's what I'm saying. Even me, man, being my age, being in San Diego my whole life, thinking that I know everyone. Do you, do you understand? I don't nowhere in hell I know this whole city like there's millions of people in my own backyard that I don't even know millions so even if you think you're popular you're not that popular you still don't know everyone in your area nor do you ever nor have you ever known everyone everyone in your area at the end of it when you look at your Facebook friend list it's probably only a couple hundred at max a couple hundred that are your actual people that you broke bread with people that you went to first grade with second grade with remember man i those are the friends that make up my my that used to make up my facebook page right people that i actually know my friends so that's why sandra you would decline because i guess you only have a few hundred friends on there that you're actually friends with and you keep social media that way that's fine but that automatically tells me that you're just not in, you're not open for business and that's fine you don't have to be you don't have to be but if you were open for business you'd be you'd be you'd you'd be at thousands of people right on that on that facebook page and if you were actually prospecting them because you got something to sell you would do something with the people that are on your friend list that are your friends but maybe you just haven't spoken to them i had friends on there man on facebook that i went to freaking seventh grade and eighth grade with that i haven't spoken to since seventh or eighth grade but yet we're Facebook friends and that's cool, right? It's great to freaking, we post on each other's stuff. We say happy birthday. But as far as that, I mean, shit, they're raising a family. I'm raising a family. I'm building a business. We're all busy. Like we don't, I haven't hung out with people that I went to sixth grade with, but I had them on my, on my Facebook page just to say that I have real friends there. And that's what I've been doing since 07. But it wasn't until this really took off, man, 2017, 2018 into 2019. 2019 is when I really, really, really perfected it, okay? It was in 2019 when I'm like, dude, these couple hundred people that I do know, shout out to my cousins, but shit, I haven't even seen my cousin in seven years, but they're on my Facebook. They have no idea what I'm up to. My, my son is already 11 years old. They haven't even seen him. It's like, dude, like we all have those types of distant relatives that we want to call friends, right? And those are the people, Sandra, that you're probably concerned about, you know? Now say a family member posts a status on your page, including some offensive language. Shit, I guess so, Sandra. If that's the type of people that, 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 are, that are your friends on Facebook, 
because yeah, we all have crazy cousins that don't do some dumb shit. I get it. But I'm telling you, here's what I did. I literally took those couple hundred crazy friends that I have, my fias, my theos, my freaking distant relatives. You know, I, I'm from Guam. My family, my mom is from Guam. You know, my dad is from Mexico. So I got family all over the freaking place. These are people that made up my Facebook friend list, but yet ne don't bring any value to my life or my family, my kids whatsoever. So it's like, dude, they have no idea I'm building a business. They have no idea I have 4,500 people that are all in the same niche. They have no idea what I do for, for work or for life. They have never even met my wife. Like we all have those friends that you want to call Sandra, your friends on, on social media. You can't tell me you're kicking it with all 500 of your friends every day. No, you don't No, you're no, there's hundreds of friends on your page that you don't even kick it with no more that you haven't even seen since third grade, but they're your Facebook friend. They comment on your birthday pictures of your son, but they live in freaking Tennessee and you're in Florida. No, dude, like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, shout out to them because those are our friends. I grew up with them. That, that's someone I went to fifth grade with. I get it. I get it. But again, man, I did this for business. I did this for business. Here's what I did. I messaged all my real friends on Facebook. All right. All right. I messaged all my real friends and I said, hey, man, I'm starting a new Instagram account. And, it, and it's this one over here. This is the exact one. I told him, I said, hey, man, I'm starting a new Instagram account. I'm going to be closing out this personal Facebook page. Please follow me over there. This one right here, you guys, is not something that I promote really for you guys. Um, everything I do with you, with my YouTube fam is, is inspired digital, but I also have inspired solar. I'm also building a side business in my local backyard. This is not an online business, really. I'm going to be running Facebook ads for sure, but it's more of a local business where I'm just, I'm going to literally, literally take over my backyard and go put panels on every roof in my backyard, residential um, homes, and make a killing at it make a killing. But my point is, is that all my real friends that know me from ninth grade, they're all here. And to tell you the truth, man, at my age, the older you get, the, 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 the lower your friend count becomes, right? Because everyone goes their own way. After high school, everyone goes their own way. And, and especially when you go into your 20s, 30s, everyone goes their own way. People are on a completely different mission. And, and not, not all of us stay connected, man. These 141 people, man, these 141 people that I sent a message to on Facebook and I said, hey, man, I'm closing my personal account. Follow me on my new Instagram, okay? Because I needed those couple hundred people. I needed those slots for Facebook because my goal was to fill it with 5,000 and that's where it's at today. So today, I, 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 but, but on this journey of even scaling up that friend number, at the end of the day, that's not even what the point is. The point is, is that that was just my goal because I was gonna, I was gonna recycle this new list and, and use that to prospect because I didn't have a huge Facebook advertising budget in the beginning. I had to get my business off the ground. I had to start going to get clients. And again, as I was trying to talk about earlier, how else was I gonna get them? I telemarketed before. I've been telemarketing for freaking 10 plus years, I've crushed the phones in my lifetime, um, made so much money from the telephone. So what was I going to do? Telemarket to find clients? What was I going to do? Door knock? Yeah, I could have ran Facebook ads, but I didn't have the budget back then. I was just getting started. Um, what was I going to do? Hand my business card to everyone that I know? What was I going to do? Post on social media? Hey man, if you want, hit me up. I know Dan Henry teaches that. Post freaking the curious, um, student or whatever the hell he calls it, you know, shout out to Dan, shout out to Dan. That's my man. But, um, what, what are you going to do to find clients post on social media and say, Hey man, hit me up. I'm freaking badass at Facebook ads. I'll run one for you, dude. I've never posted that ever in my life ever. That's not how you get the business. So here's what I did, man. I moved everything over to, and I moved all my real friends over to Instagram these are all real people, man, that I actually went to school with, that I actually grew up with. This used to be my, my childhood neighbor. This right here, my son plays football with, with her son. Um, my son plays football with her son, Caraway. This is my old business partner. This is my friend. This is my other friend. This is someone I went to high school with. This is my assistant basketball coach. This is my friend I went to 10th grade with. This is the friend I started my first business with. Um, this is literally Kevon. Shout out to Kevon. That's literally my next door neighbor here in San Diego. That's my next door neighbor. This is my freaking cousin. Um, 
this is my cousin. Um, this is my old school homie. This is my old school homie right here, Otto. This is my old school neighbor, Ruby. Shout out to Ruby. These are all Christy went to 10th grade with her. Tyler was in the mortgage industry with her. Jardine, Nicholas, shout out to him, man. Old school freaking B-boy. That's my homie from San Diego. These are all real people, man. Shout out to Dave Brown. Shout out to my boy, Joe. Joe be crushing it in jujitsu. Has his own freaking um, dojo here in San Diego. He crushes it, man. Shout out to freaking, you know, shout out to, shout out to my boy right here. Right here in the middle, Black Belt, man. Black Belt crushes it here in San Diego. Coolest cat ever. Shout out to Joe. Um, follow him on IG for sure. But um, these are all people that I know, man. I moved them all to Instagram to free up 5,000. And all I do, you guys, is I simply message. I message. I send them a message. My first message is a hello. Hey, man, great to connect with you. Thanks for accepting my friend request. I noticed that you're super successful in insurance. I happen to work with a ton of insurance agents all over the country uh, with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. I'd love to see if I can bring you more clients um, if you're ever up for it. Have a great day. Let me know. Reach out to me anytime. Like it's all, it, That first message is simply a hello to break the ice, to compliment them, and to, and to, and to let them know what I do. Just, just a friendly hello. Have a wonderful day. Hey, this is what I do. Great to connect with you. I know that I noticed that you're super successful. In fact, I work with a ton of insurance agents. I work with a ton of dentists. I help them with their social media marketing and, and Facebook advertising. If you're ever looking for more clients, feel free to reach out. I'd love to show you what I do. I'd love to give you some free tips on, on how you can increase your social media exposure and brand and capture more leads than you can possibly handle. Have a great day. Pause that right there, you guys. Write that down. That is my opening pitch. That is my opening message. That is the very first message. Message. Thanks for accepting my friend request. Um, I noticed that you're super successful insur in insurance. I happen to work with a ton of insurance brokers. I help them with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. If you're ever looking for more clients, I'd love to show you how, how you can simply leverage your social media to help, you, to help you capture more leads than you could possibly handle. I'd love to chat. Let me know if tomorrow works. Or don't even say that in the beginning. That's not, that's not what I say in the first message. Let me know if tomorrow works. That's not what I say. But I do say, I do say I'd love to chat with you someday. Have a wonderful day. And that's the first message, man. And what ends up happening is 50% of the time, 50% of the time, you're going to have people that don't reply and that's fine. They won't reply. Totally fine. Totally fine. Don't hit them up again. If they don't reply to that first message, don't hit them up again. No big deal. Wait, a, wait, wait, wait a few weeks and don't even worry because again, man, I have 5,000 and every time I drop a friend, I add another. Every time I unfriend some people that, that I'm not going to do business with, people that are in my niche that I'm just not going to do, do business with, I unfriend. There's no engagement. Unfriend them. Nor do they. No one cares. Like That's the thing about social media, you guys. You guys act like people care. No one cares. No one even knows you. Like shout out, to, shout out to Sandra, but Sandra doesn't even know me. Like I don't even know Sandra. I don't even know if that's a real person. That's another thing. Forget it with the logo in the profile image. You have to put your face. Like put your face there. Um, all these blank ones, man, Kelly, you know, step your game up. Look, Alex, shout out to Alex. Look, dude, there's a person there. Shout out to crazy Christian. There's a person there. Yeah. It looks like a little kid, but it's still a real person. Darian, step your game up. Kelly, step your game up. You have to put your profile picture in that because when I see something like that, I'm like, damn, okay. Autobot spam, you know, who knows, but Obviously, you know, shout, shout out to Sandra. You have a very detailed, you know, question and concern. So I know that's a real person, obviously, you know, but, but definitely change that up because all those little things matter, man. All those little things matter. I'll shoot that message. 50% of the time they won't reply. 50% of the time they do. And when they do, it's going to be, it's going to be a few different messages. I'll get back a reply and, and they'll say something like, great to connect with you. I'll keep you in mind that's one reply, but at least they replied, at least they replied. And now the algorithm is going to work in your favor because they replied, right? That's Facebook. That's, that's LinkedIn. That's Twitter. That reply is everything. Once that person replies, now that message is no, 
it is for sure not going to ever be flagged for spam because they replied. Um, and you don't, you're not sending messages to people before you're friends with them because that will go to spam. Add friend first, add friend, add friend, add friend, and then message them. Okay. And again, man, because these are business owners, it doesn't matter what business you're in because you're a business owner, business owners don't decline, Sandra. They just don't, they just don't, they don't. So don't worry about that. That's not going to happen. And then as you start to message your, your, your friends, your family to really ensure that no one's commenting, you know, offensive language or anything stupid, just migrate them somewhere else, man. Migrate them somewhere else. I have, I have two different Instagrams. The ones that I promote with you guys is, in, is inspired digital. That's all inspired digital. Follow me on all these platforms at inspired digital. But I did also make this one because again, everyone that I know, man, whoever I want to call family, close friends, people I grew up with, whoever that happens to be, nine out of 10 of them are in my local area because I live here, right? So I just happen to also be building a, a, a local business. And so I'm branding myself with people that I actually know on this other IG. These are all friends, man, followers that I really know. The 215 that I'm following are people that I actually know, right? Like when you look at your social media platforms, man, 99% of them are people you don't know. This one right here is set up intentionally for people that I just know, okay? Now, now um, these other platforms are going to consist of people you don't know, man. Darren, I don't know Darren. Randy, I don't know D D Randy. Lisa? Lee, Hall, Matt, right? These people, man, we don't know them. When you look at your social media, you don't know the people that are following you. 99% of the people that are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I don't know. You know, like even on my other Instagram, this one over here, Inspired Digital, most of the people that are following me, I don't even know because this is my whole marketing side of my business. In fact, a lot of these are my clients. A lot of these are my clients. But at the same time, a lot of them are people that I, that I don't know, like that I don't know. Um, that's social media for you, man. And that's why, man, depending on what kind of business you're building, the reason why I was able to do this is because my business is nationwide. That's number one. If you're building a local business, this is not a strategy for you. This is mainly how I built my social media agency. So if you guys are freelancers, if you're trying to build an agency yourself and you're, you're going after and offering services to a specific type of business, this mainly works for small business owners and, and this will for sure work with any kind of business owner. Okay. Type that in, type it in, in the search field, um, go to people. So you're looking under people and, and you'll find them man. go on a blitz. And again, it could be Facebook. It could be Instagram. It could be Twitter. It could be LinkedIn. Same thing. And, and, and you know, what's so crazy is that I don't even use LinkedIn. All I use LinkedIn really for is to post is to share my YouTube videos so at least I have some type, it looks like I'm somewhat active, but I've never used LinkedIn. I never really, I never really organically posted natively a posted on LinkedIn. I never really checked these messages on LinkedIn. Um, but I have it locked. I have my name locked and that's step one up here. You better lock your name, linkedin.com forward slash. I guess that I N has to be there, but whatever but this is what's customized. Make sure you lock down your name. That's step one, man. Not lock down your name for all of these platforms. You know, over here, lock down the name, lock down the name, right? Over here on, 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 on IG, lock down that name. Over here on Twitter, lock down that name. And, I'm, and, and, and don't try to add a number to the end. Don't try to put a dot or an underscore. Don't try to freak, no man, I'm talking about matching. That's basic. That's step one. Step your game up. Most miss that. But but what I'm saying is that over here on LinkedIn, right? Over here on LinkedIn, I'm going through my messages this morning. I'm going through these messages just to see what the hell people message me. There's so many clowns, man. There's so many clowns in here. Um, this happened to be the only one. Shout out to Nicole where I actually replied to somebody. Like I go through, I, I don't go through this, but I'm going through it today because I'm like, damn, I do the strategy on Facebook. Let's see how people are doing it on LinkedIn because I know LinkedIn is a strategy as far as the DM, as far as the same exact message, um, the same exact everything, but I just never did it on LinkedIn. And I know people are doing it on LinkedIn as, and as I'm going through this, man, 
it's like, holy crap, people send me, hi, sir, how are you? Hope you're fine. Man, I am a graphic, ma'am, I am a graphic designer and I would design amazing local. I am specialist in real estate logo making. It's like, dude, this is like not your first message. It was his first message. Shout out to Man County. Shout out to Man County. But shit, man. No, it's, it ain't working. This ain't working. You ain't getting much. That, that ain't working. When you're sending out one that's completely freaking selling your shit, as a small business owner, you, this, is Mike's, this is Mike's first message to me, man. This is his first message to me. Okay, as a small business owner, you have a lot of tasks on your plate. Did you know there are five insurance policies every business owner needs? Reply yes, and I'll send, send over my free guide to help you navigate these policies. See? Shout out to Mike and shout out to Robert. Robert, there's an idea right there. It's a small idea, but at the same time, it's, you don't want to do it through the DM. This guy, Mike, he's doing this through the DM. It's like, dude, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm, no, man. Like, that's like the wrong way to do it. Like, that's not how you do it, you guys. That's not how you do it. Like, there was no, there was no, like, breaking the ice. There was no complimenting me. There was no freaking trying to build the rapport there was no freaking as a small business owner you have a lot of tasks on your plate how do you know mike did you know there are five insurance policies every business owner needs reply yes and i'll send over my free guy it sounds like a bot it sounds like a freaking autobot it sounds like a freaking messenger bot it doesn't there's no personality to it man you know as i'm going the through these i'm like dude hey david i love to connect sometime Okay, spots or space. Why? Like, okay, I look at your freaking intro, support and application, specialist sales and marketing specialist. Okay, this is your first message to me, bro? Like, really? Hey, David, I love to connect sometime. Okay, space, I'll give you my time. It's like, bro, I don't even know what the hell you're pitching. I don't even know who you are. Like, you don't even tell me hello. Like, you don't even say I'm freaking handsome. You don't say none of that shit, man. Right? It's like, dude, you don't even say I'm, you notice that I'm successful. Like, you don't say none of that stuff. Like, who the hell's replying to, no, dude, I ain't giving you no time, bro. What do you, like, look, David, Noah. Let's see what Noah, how Noah started. Great profile, David. How did you get into marketing? Okay, so he's trying to break the ice. He's trying to break the ice with a question right? He's trying to get me to go, trying to get me to reply with a single question. That was September 4th. I'm looking at this for the first time. September 5th, I don't even reply, but he sends me another message on September 5th. That means, Noah, you have five friends on LinkedIn, bro. That's what that means. Why are you messaging me again? I haven't replied. That's the thing, you guys. Half of the people are going to reply. Half the people are, are don't. But because you have thousands of freaking people to go through, you're not going back the very next day to send them a message. I'm glad we connected, David. This may sound random. If I told you I've been helping marketing companies like yours generate over 40K in client acquisition in, in less than 90 days, would you be interested in a conversation with me? See, it's like, dude, I wasn't even interested in answering your first question, Noah. That's why I haven't replied. But you took, you took the initiative and on the very next day, you sent me another message. Three days later on the 8th, I haven't even replied, bro. You send me another message. Hi, David. I just want to make sure you received my last message. After looking at your profile, I'm eager to learn more about your services and value proposition to see if we can help you grow your client base. Our client, see, he goes on this long, I haven't even replied, man. And then he sends me another message from the 8th to the 22nd. This guy sends me another message. Hi, David. It's been a little while since we connected. Bro, we never connected. I came across your profile and thought I'd reach out one more time. Just like you do with your clients, we want to help. You aim for higher. It's like, dude, bro, that just shows that's cool. I appreciate the follow up. You got to be persistent for sure. But to me, that looks like you have nine friends. That looks like you have nine people on your LinkedIn and you're trying to work your leads all nine of them and i wouldn't have done that i wouldn't have sent out because you gotta you gotta let me reply you gotta let that person reply i do half the people are going to reply to my message and half of them are not the ones that reply are going to say yeah man that sounds super cool great to connect with you as well i'll keep you in mind that's one 
The next one would be freaking, um, yes, yeah, great to connect with you also, man. Um, I suck at social media. You know, I, 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 I wish I did more with it. You'll get some type of reply like that. Many, many people, many, many small business owners will say that, man, because they're so busy with what they're doing, man. They're so busy with what they're doing. They don't have time for Facebook advertising or social media marketing, but they know they have to be there. And it's, and, and, and it's worth it for them to delegate it somewhere else. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Okay. Um, and that's what they do. But at the same time, they'll reply back and say, man, I wish I, 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 I had more time for social media. That's when I'll reply back. Or they'll say something like, man, I suck at social media. Or they'll say, man, I tried doing some Facebook ads, or I've tried doing some LinkedIn ads, or I've tried doing some Instagram ads, and they just, you know, they haven't been able to work. They'll say something like that. They'll either not reply or they'll reply with something like that. And my very next message, man, I don't go into huge dialogue. I don't freaking message them all these multiple different times like this at all. Like, let's, let's look at another one. Um, David, David, thanks for connecting. I'm interested. Let's go. Look, this is where it starts. We have some mutual interests here on LinkedIn and like to connect with you. Okay. He sends me another message. August 13th, three days later, David, thanks for connecting. I'm interested in, in how you guys handle overflow projects. I know a lot of agencies have had bad experience with freelancers and other options. My team specializes in supporting businesses like yours in a partnership, in a partner relationship to take on any of your web projects. It's like, dude, you're totally like, I'm telling you, man, that's a pitch. That's just like, you're just like, this is not how I do it, man. This is just not how I do it. Like, you're just totally trying to sell me. You're totally pitching me, like, without even me replying, you know, to anything that you're saying. You know what I mean? Like, so what I do, man, is that person will reply and I'll reply back and I'll say, hey, man, I'd love to just give you some free tips. I'd love to just share some free strategies. I'd love to give you some free, you know, basic tips that will help you with your social media marketing and your Facebook advertising. Let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow and we'll schedule a quick call. They'll reply back and they'll say, yeah, man, because right away it's psychology, man. It's psychology. I'm saying, I want to give you something for free. I can share with you. I can show you how to run the basic ad. I can show you some basic tips. I can give you these free strategies that I know you're, you're lacking. And that's another thing, man. You can't just make up some random service. You got to have passion. You got to have experience. You got to know what the hell you're offering them. You got to know the need. You got to know the pain point. You got to know what they're lacking. That niche. Okay, Dennis, what are they lacking? Restaurants, what do they suck in? When it comes to social media marketing and Facebook advertising, what are they missing? You have to know these things because that's what you're going to give them for free. That's what you're bribing them with. That's what the phone call is set up for. It's to show them what their pages are missing. We're talking social media marketing and Facebook advertising. It's to show you what you're missing, man. When can we schedule a quick call? Let me know if you're available tomorrow. Let me know if you're, you're available tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a notification. And so what I do is I use Kartra for everything. So profitwithkartra.online. There's a 14-day trial. There's a link in the description. I use that for everything, for my landing pages, for my calendar, for my email automation, for my freaking scheduling of all my appointments. Everything is done through profitwithkartra.online. Um, but I, I simply, I simply grab their email. I don't grab their phone number. So I say, Hey man, let me know if you're available tomorrow and we'll schedule a quick call. I can visually show you, I can share my screen. I tell them in the message, I say, Hey man, I can share my screen and visually walk you through these basics. These are basic steps that every plumber is missing when it comes to social media marketing and Facebook advertising. These are basic services that, that, that insurance agents are missing when it comes to capturing more leads whatever, however you want to spin it. It's the same thing, man. These are same, these are the same strategies for every business. It doesn't matter what kind of business you're building, man. If you're a small business owner, uh, a, a, an aspiring business owner, and you're, you're an entrepreneur trying to get your, your thing up, this is basic, man. These are basic social media principles that, that, that need to be in place. So for so, so, so to end it here, not for example, to end it here, push all your friends, Sandra, to your other to a different platform okay a different platform that you're not going to be using to reach out okay move all those people over and then fill up that spot everyone that you're following on linkedin every single person that you're connected with needs to be in your niche if linkedin is your thing 
Twitter, you need to only be following every single person in that niche. That's it, okay? Or on Instagram, you're only following every single person in that niche. You can find everyone, man. You come over here, insurance agent. Insurance agent, I, 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 I can go hashtags and I can find all these people and I can go search all of them. I could search all of them, become friends and follow them and then eventually start commenting. That's what you want to do, man. Just don't be a spammer. Don't just freaking message people and, and not engage in what they're doing. What you're going to always want to do is you're going to always want to come to the home and just simply like and comment, go to your newsfeed, click on home, go to your newsfeed, what everybody is up to, look at what everybody's up to and start liking everyone's stuff, commenting on everyone's stuff. You have to show engagement. When they come over here and check their notifications, psycholo psychologically, you want them to see your name. David liked your post. David has a comment. You want them to start seeing your name. That's super, super ninja, ninja strategy. No one's ever going to teach you that. No one's ever going to tell you that. That's all part of the algorithm, but it's more of a psychological thing where, 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 when they start to see your name, they see that they see our name from, from us liking their stuff. They see our name from us commenting on their stuff in the notifications and then they see your name, it triggers that, 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 that brain to automatically instantly recognize our name when they, see us in the, when they see us in the DM. So comment on their stuff, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Instagram, you know, comment on, on their stuff and, and, and like all their stuff and, and just spend some time throughout your day going to the newsfeed to get your name known. That's what you're doing, man. That's also a form of branding. That's how I'm telling you, man. This is how I built it. This is how I built it. I have now 5,000 friends on this page. I don't ever worry about freaking anyone declining me. No one that doesn't even exist in entrepreneurship. And, and I don't have to worry about any random cousin saying something stupid on my timeline where these other business owners are going to see it. And that's where I'm trying to do business. No, none of, none of that even happens, Sandra. So maximize your friend list, um, go after one specific niche and just get good at it, man. Find your services, find, find, find your strengths and, and, and find that value proposition that you're going to be able to deliver. Once I get them on the phone, you guys actually to tell you that I don't get them on the phone. I get them on zoom. So here's where I end it. I ask them if they have a few minutes tomorrow, they'll reply back and say, yeah, man, I'd love to see what you got. I'd love to see, I'd love for you to give me some free tips because again, man, they're going to reply back and say, man, I suck at social media. They're going to reply back and say, man, I need to take my social media to the next level. They're going to reply back and say, that's awesome. You, how long you've been helping, you know, plumbers with their social media. And then you can reply back, say, man, I've been doing this for the past few years. In fact, let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow and we can schedule a quick call. I can visually share my screen and show you what I do. I can visually share my screen and show you how I help other clients in this specific niche. I don't go into heavy dialogue. I don't go into a huge list of my services. No, none of that happens in the DM. It's boom, 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 we're scheduling a call. That's how 99%, 99.9% of every single message is handled. So I'm not there sitting, direct messaging, freaking answering people's questions and carry on, carrying on huge dialogues and huge conversations all in the DM. Hell no. I've never done that. It's all because I'm a closer, man. That's why when you're a closer, you're a closer. What I'd go for right away when I know there's an interest, when I know there's an interest, remember, remember I sent out my intro message. They replied back. So I know there was an interest there. I reply back and say, man, I'd love to give you some free pointers. I'd love to give you some free tips. Let me know if tomorrow works. Right away, man, I'm going for the close. Right away, I'm going for the appointment. I'm not trying to carry on conversation anymore. I already piqued your interest. I know you suck at it. I know you need it. I know you haven't been taking care of your social media. I know you haven't ran a Facebook ad. Like This is what you're telling me all in that, all in that simple reply. I'm getting a lot out of your reply. When your reply back... Oh, that's awesome, David. Great to connect with you as well. In fact, my social media game is pretty horrible right now. I've been super busy with my business and I haven't paid much attention to my Facebook, but yeah, I know the importance of it. Great to connect with you too. That right there, you guys, I can read that, break that down and be like, dude, oh man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to help them. Like automatically. So right when I reply back, it's always, hey man, to, it's always to, to piggyback off of what they said, but it's also to go for the appointment. 
hey man, that sounds awesome. Yeah, in fact, a lot of plumbers or a lot of chiropractors have the same issue. I totally understand. Um, in fact, let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow and we can schedule a quick call. I can visually share my screen and show you how simple this really is. That right there, you guys, write this stuff down, man. Take notes, go through this video again. This, I'm giving you the golden nuggets. I'm giving you exactly what I have given and gotten and how I've been able to build this business since 2016 all to the DM without having to run a Facebook ad or any kind of paid traffic for a client. I get multiple clients per week just from the DM still. I happen to get so good at it where I still, I'm still doing it, which, which there's that. And, but the thing is, is that it's good to start with, right? And then you can leverage yourself. Now, now I'm fired up about my book. Now I'm fired up about my training course. Now I'm fi fired up about monthly clients. Um, um, so I'm fired up about other things now. But at the same time, I can always rely on it. I can always direct message. I can always direct message, schedule an appointment, get someone on the line, and close them. And so what I do is I'll go for that appointment, right? They'll reply back and say, yeah, man, I'm available tomorrow at 9. I'll reply back and I'll say, great. I don't need your phone number. Send me your email. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. And I use my, my Kartra calendar for all of that. So what I do, and that's why profit with Kartra.online. I use that software for everything, even my calendar. So over here, okay, over here, this is my calendar. They'll reply back and say, hey man, tomorrow 9 a.m. works, here's my email. I'll grab their email myself and I'll come over here and I'll schedule the appointment. I'm scheduling not many per day. Three to four is the max. Three to, three to four appointments a day is all I need. Three to, four, three to four appointments a day, or even let's just say one to two, one to two appointments per day, okay? My closing rate, you guys, I knock on wood, I kid you not, I kid you not, knock on wood, hopefully you guys can hear that. My closing rate, my closing rate is 90% closing rate. And it's been that way since 2016, okay? 90% closing rate, okay? I get their email. I schedule the appointment through my Kartra calendar, profitwithkartra.online. The link is in the description for a trial, 14-day trial. I come over here. I grab their email. I grab their, their information, and I come over here and schedule the appointment. Once I schedule that appointment, I enter all their information right here. First name, last name, email and then I submit. That automatically sends them a, a confirmation email. So I tell them in the, in the DM, I say, hey man, send me your email, I'll add you to the calendar and email you a confirmation. And then boom, once I do this, I'll send them one last DM. I'll say, Jason, I just emailed you. I just, I just sent you a confirmation. Have a wonderful day. I can't wait to speak to you tomorrow. Or I'm looking forward to speaking to you tomorrow, tomorrow at noon. I, I look forward to it. Have a great day. That's my last message after I've already scheduled the appointment. And they'll reply back and say, Dan, great, David, I got it, received. I look forward to it as well, talk to you tomorrow. And that's it, you guys, that's it. And what I email them is a confirmation with a link to my Zoom, okay? So it's a link to my Zoom. Come over here, get your zoom.us account. I'm still on the free version. Um, um, this is what I've been using, man, since 2016. Even when I started pitching website design, I was using Zoom to visually show them. And that's why a lot of times where, actually not a lot of times because no one ever asked, I send them an email with the Zoom link, they click on it at 9 a.m. and boom, we're on screen share. And to tell you the truth, I don't use video. So I'm like this, I'm like this the entire time. I'm not showing my face on the presentation at all. I, in fact, in the email, I tell them, here's the link for Zoom. Webcam will be disabled. It will be a voice call. But I use Zoom so I can visually share my screen and show you what we do to help dentists, to help plumbers, to help insurance agents, to help whatever, right? Right? Fill in the blank. But I'm telling this them, I'm telling them this in the actual email. Now, when they jump on, sometimes they'll jump on and their camera's on. But I tell them I can't see them. That's my little fib. My little fib. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. Sometimes their camera's on and, and they're like, oh, am I on camera? I'm like, no. I'm like, if anything, you can, you can stop video. But no, 
because I don't even care. Like they're on their face, maybe on camera, but I don't even care. I'm not even looking at them really. I'm looking at the screen and I'm walking them through all kinds of stuff because I already know what they need. I already know what they want. I already know what they suck at. I already know how I can bring value. And so 90% close rate, man, by doing that. That's how I've been able to get 300 plus clients um, since 2017. I've gotten a, a handful of clients in 2016, but that was website services. In 2017, September 2017 is when I got my first social media client processed through Stripe, through my credit card processor, right? Since 2017, since September of 2017 till the making of this video, you know, November 2019, 300 plus clients all through this exact, exact way. Not one thing different, not one thing left out all through that, man. So I know that was a ton, you guys, but hopefully that made sense. I'm just here to tell you the reason why I wanted to cut this is because so many, so many people that are following me are beginners. That's my market. That's who I want to cater to. That's who I want to bring value to. I want to help the beginner. And that's what Facebook ad, that's what, that's what FB ads for beginners.com. That link is in the description, fbadsforbeginners.com. That's for the beginner. Someone that's getting started with this stuff, man. Someone that's getting started with Facebook ads. Someone that's just beginning. Because when I was just beginning, I truly believed that it was more basic than it had to be. A landing page, a Facebook ad, how to capture a lead from a Facebook ad. All that stuff is more basic. There's a lot of basics that are always left out, man. When gurus are trying to teach this stuff, I come across so many people, so many amazing people. But I also truly believe so many of them miss out the basics. They miss out the basics. And, and so that's where I kind of found my niche is teaching people the, the basics, man. So this is basic stuff for those of you that are just starting. What fires me up and want and, and, and what, what, what inspired me to even want to share it with you is because, yeah, Sandra had that comment. So shout out to Sandra. But also at the same time, this is for those of you that don't have any budget. Those of you that are just trying to make a side hustle, trying to make a side income, I turn this into my full-time thing on day one, okay? December 2016, when I started offering website services, I was offering them to this exact niche, okay? When I started, it wasn't a part-time hustle. It was a full-time job. It was my full-time business. I was leaving mortgages. I had just left mortgages, and I had to start something fast. And I knew I didn't want to go get a random job. I knew that nine to five was not my thing. In fact, that's what I did in the, in the mortgage industry. I was on that typical nine to five and that's what I hated about it. That's what I hate. I had to go to an office every day. Yes, we crushed it. Yes. My best friend owned the company, but it was still a corporate environment. It was a bank. It was a freaking mortgage company. Like it doesn't get much professional than that. Like office suit and tie, corporate bullshit like rent you know even though your best friend may own the company there's still um 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 quotas there's still freaking policies there's still you know criteria that you've got to go off of you know it's it's a company that you're building you know friend or not you know and and and, and shout out to my boy it's a super successful mortgage company my 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 best friend still owns it to this day but um but when I left, man, this is just what I, what I've been doing since 2016, man, 2016, hitting people up to the DM, getting them on zoom, showing them services that I know they're lacking, which causes them to need and want to buy. And I pull a credit card all over the zoom. Um, and thank God I damn near mastered it. So you guys can too, man. I'm speaking to you guys that, that are on a shoestring budget that have no other hustle, that have no other option. This is something you, you can do, man. You can easily reach out to businesses through the DM, through social media, offer them marketing services because we're now in a social media world. Every single business on the planet needs social media marketing services and, and, and Facebook advertising, whether it's Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, or YouTube advertising, they need some type of social media paid advertising. And again, and, and at the end of the day, it consists of Facebook ads and Instagram and Instagram ads, YouTube ads. Yes. But, but Facebook and Instagram ads is where you'll pretty much start. And then, and then basic social media services to, to help them enhance their current platforms facebook instagram twitter you got to look at all those right because they all suck they all suck i'm telling you right now man this is why you guys can do it it don't matter the niche i'm telling you to pick something that you're knowledgeable in or that you're passionate about because it's going to make more sense and make it easier for you to for you to talk to these people um 
and you're going to enjoy talking to them because you enjoy the, 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 the industry, right? Because you come from it or you had some type of experience in it. It makes it a lot more easier. Trust me. Um, and so, and so I just truly believe, believe you guys can do it, man. I truly believe you guys can do it. I truly believe random businesses will not decline you. Okay. Random business owners, entrepreneurs, local business owners will not decline you. They'll be happy to take you on as a, as a new friend. And, and, and I'm telling you, they all lack what we're, what we're providing social media marketing services, Facebook advertising services. They all lack it. And, and a lot of them are willing to delegate it and pay someone really good that knows how to do it. So shout out to my boy, Robert, man, shout out to my boy, Robert. He's my next freaking project. He's my next freaking family member. He's my next cousin. He's my newest cousin. And, and I'm going to help him with his marketing and, and keep it simple, keep it simple, start it small and just scale up from there, man. And, and social media is where we, have to be it's not even an option so so those of you that are building an actual business it's not an option for you to decline a friend request you better be accepting them all because you're open for business and you have something to sell so hopefully that made sense you guys shout out to sandra i'll see you guys on the next video over and out